addressed. Probably some more will come out of the woodwork and they will be addressed. Staff also called for their needs to be addressed. I'm only 10 years here. There are other people that have been here for 30 years and longer. What have we done to develop them? If somebody has taken 47 million solar from the company, do they get fined? Do they go to jail? Does the SABC get the money back? How is that process going to work? The board confirmed it had asked the Special Investigative Unit to probe financial irregularities. It will present its quarterly report to the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Communications. Asanda Makaka, SABC News, Cape Town. A groundbreaking microbiology discovery has been made in South Africa. Heat-loving fungi can be used to replace cancer-causing chemicals used in paper and food industries. A doctoral student at Durban's University of Technology has been credited with the discovery. Evidently, the difference between success and failure is determination. A 15-year study has finally yielded results. Naptula and Kunun Komalo has found a novel use for a fungus commonly found in soil. It can degrade plant material, ensuring efficient biofuel production. We know that the petrol price in South Africa is quite high because we buy our energy from, from outside source. But if you can use plant waste that we produce in lots from sugarcane or from, from crops, we can actually convert that into energy that we can use as petrol or to fuel industry for energy production. Its use is widespread. Added to feeds, it can help animals digest food properly. Added to detergents, it can help remove stains more easily. It's also environmentally friendly. These enzymes are able to actually replace chlorine that is used to bleach paper. It is a hot loving fungus in that it can survive at temperatures of up to 50 to 60 degrees. It uses enzymes that are functional up to 70 to 80 degrees, which makes it very applicable in industry. A milestone for the school's research team. Their next step is to patent the find. Blaine Herman, SABC News, Durban. Time now to take a look at your market indicators. We begin with your currencies report this morning. The rand weaker to the dollar at 7 rand and 6 cents. 11.42 to sterling, 9.99 to the euro. 1 rand and 3 cents will get you a Pula Yako Botswana. The JSE fell over 2% to below 30,000 at the close yesterday, in line with global markets, which are declining on concern about growth in the U.S. and debt in the Eurozone, so the all share down to 29,888. Asian markets have slipped this morning amid fears that Europe's sovereign debt troubles are worsening and could trigger a second full-blown banking crisis. So the Nikkei at 8,600.